There's there's just so many sounds, especially on, on this one. <laughs> so many sounds that are on this thing that you could spend hours just listening to it okay let's go to the next one this is the organ uh, these are the draw bars that that include uh, harmonics or higher frequencies for example here's the fifth here's another octave up here's another third fifth and octave so these are just volume bars that will that will introduce more harmonics to your sound. Um, this is a cabinet that you can change how it sounds or just turn it off. Press this button you can get more options with this um, organ. But there's just so many great sounds. You just take a look at all the take a look at all the sounds because they're just an amazing amazing uh, supply of, of great sounds. So this is the organ, EVB. Okay, this is a clavi. Um, not going to say too much about this one either. Uh, with the mod wheel you can, you can affect the wah. And you can affect the pickup here, where the pickup is actually at. So take a look at all these buttons and take a look at the manual because it'll explain a little bit more about this. But you've got a claw for any 70s types of music that you want to do. Um, the vocoder. Okay, this is a really interesting uh, feature. Let me pull in an audio piece. Around the world. There's the around the world piece with the audio. What you want to do is this is going to apply some robotic sounds. So this is on audio one. What I want to do is go to side chain, click on audio one, so that this will listen to this audio one. Now I want to mute it so it's not so I can't hear the normal one. And come back to it, and as I press play, you're not going to hear anything until you press down on the keyboard. Oh, sorry, that's not it. Let's actually go into the instrument. Right now, a synthesizer is loaded up that doesn't affect, that doesn't use any extra or outside audio. So you, you want to go to Vintage Vocoder and pick any one of these. I'll pick the Clear Voice Vocoder. Okay, now back to where we're at. Let the audio play. As when I press down the keyboard, you'll hear it come through affected. Turn it up a little bit. So I'm changing the actual notes with the keyboard, but it's getting its sound from this audio. And it does that by side chaining to audio one, which is on this track. So that's very simply how to use vocoder. You can get some amazing sounds. You can sound like um, Daft Punk, is that I think that's the band. Um, but you can get some great stuff out of that. Um, the next one is the electric piano. Uh, press this button to get more options. You got tremolo, phaser, chorus, a lot of bunch of effects that hopefully we can talk about in the next tutorial. Um, also, um, so just a bunch of of uh, great instruments that you can pick on this electric piano. Okay, the next one is the EXS24. Okay, this is a very major one. Um, this has a lot of orchestral sounds, not the best ones out there, but it does has have a, a wide range of orchestral sounds. The best ones that I think are out there are the East West, and we're going to talk about that in the next tutorial. Um, but to start off, first of all, this is a sine wave. Just so you know, it's kind of just a random thing, but uh, that's a plain sine wave. So, in order to um, 
in order to pick instruments, like I said before, you you pick them from here or from up here. So let's actually let's go. Th let's just go through. Let's pick an instrument and go through some of the buttons. Oh, it's a piano. Let's pick a synthesizer actually. <laughs> Okay, so here's your over here is your filters. No, yeah, your filter section. You got your cutoff, your resonance, your drive, and your key. You can turn it on or off. You got your Q numbers right here. This is your pitch section where you can tune it or detune it. You can do a glide. Uh, over here you have the velocity volume that we've seen earlier. Uh, that, that's your range that you can put it on. Here's your main volume. Uh, over here is your modulation matrix. This is the same idea that we saw earlier. Now if you see over here on the second one, the source is the LFO1. Uh, it, it's controlled via controller 1 and the pitch is what it's controlling. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, this is this. Let's see. There we go. That wasn't turned on. So all I have to do is turn this thing up, and it's gonna increase the range that I, it's gonna affect the pitch. Now it's affecting two things: controller one over here and controller one are both affecting. One is affecting the pitch. One is affecting the filter cutoff. So let me turn this one off. I press this, that's bypass. And now we only got one thing being affected. This was being controlled by the uh, mod wheel and using the LFO2. Notice you have three LFOs here, and this was using LFO1. So now we're only affecting the pitch with the LFO1 as I move the mod wheel. Um, now here's the rate. Here's the type of, of uh, wave I can use. Here's the delay uh, back and forth. So as I move this forward, uh, it will take a while for the effect to go. As I move this backwards, it'll take a while for the effect to stop being used. Um, um, and you can uh, so you have three LFOs. You have some options with your ma with your matrix to use different types of uh, combinations. Over here, you have two envelopes. The second envelope is your vo is your um, volume ADSR, and your first one is usually your filter ADSR, but you can assign it to something else if you'd like. But AD ADSRs use the same types of of uh, technology, I guess you could say, or techniques that you can use. Okay, so this is the XS24. Now, if I press edit, I get this little box. Now, this shows me when I press down what... Okay, the difference between the EXS24 and many other instruments is that the oscillator with the EXS24 is an audio file, not like a sine wave or, or, or a square wave. It's not, that's not what the oscillator is. It's an audio file. So the nice thing about that is you can create your own audio files with your mouth, take a, take a, a microphone, and record some sounds or whatever you want and then you can input these audio files into EXS24 <coughs> and then you can play those through the keyboard and this is where you can do it now you see these boxes show you um, that when you press these keys these sounds will be initiated if I load up the piano you can see a little bit differently they're stacked in zones three zones um, <coughs> what this is is not only can I play this note but I have three different timbres or options. So as I press down the note harder and harder, not only does the volume go up or down, um, the timbre changes. Now remember I talked in the other tutorial, I talked about two things you want to remember when you're trying to make realistic sounds. You're thinking about the volume and the timbre. Uh, volume is pretty self-explanatory, but as you, as a volume, or the velocity or uh, changes, it becomes more intense or less intense. That's the timbre. And so when you're creating an instrument, you need to you need to for every single note input more than one timbre because as the timbre goes up it, it changes um, and so the concept here is that for example as a velocity the velocity could be initiated from zero 
to let's say 50, a velocity of 50, and that's the first timbre. The second timbre is initiated from 51 to let's say 100. The third timbre is initiated from 101 to the up the highest 127. Um, so depending on how hard I hit the keyboard, they will activate those different timbres and you'll get a more accurate reading or sound of what the actual instrument is playing. Um, so <coughs> that's how you create an instrument. O looking over here, one of the things I've noticed when I'm when I'm messing with some sounds is I'll go I'll I'll find a a note that's that's a little too soft or not or, or let's say it's a little too loud or not loud enough and I'll be messing with the v velocities really finely and I get to a kind of a break point in between the two zones where it's really soft and it jumps really loud and I don't want that big jump but it's it's just there that's how it was recorded um, so one nice thing about the EXS24 is that this button right here is the crossfade you can crossfade uh, between those different zones so that there's not that big old jump when you jump into different timbre zones that's a really nice feature um, with the EX with the East West instrument library uh, they have a really nice feature that where um, it's called the DXF cross crossfade and where you use the mod wheel where it affects the volume and the timbre at the same time so there's no jumping between timbre zones you have to worry about okay so let's I know this is a lot of information but um, these are some of the most important things so we're, next we're gonna go on to the external instrument this you can use for um, I don't really use it very often but you can use it when you have external synthesizers that you want to hook into logic um, this is a clock face this is where the this is where the metronome gets its sound actually and you can create your own metronome if you want that's where the the metronome gets its sounds the test oscillator is just a uh, a sine wave or a square wave or a certain type of wave where you can hear the frequencies now this is kind of useful just for practice when you want to hear and get some practice hearing what these frequencies sound like kind of sounds like a Nintendo but um, you got white noise and pink noise now notice that the the white noise and pink noise didn't change as I changed this that's because um, white noise and pink noise is a different kind of concept uh, just this is Wikipedia you can see how white noise all it is is just a full spectrum of all the frequencies so you hear them all at once and it sounds like just a bunch of noise Peak noise is where you have more low frequencies than higher ones. Brown is much lower frequencies than higher frequencies. Blue noise is higher frequencies and violet is much higher frequencies. Gray noise is kind of the lower and the higher frequencies. Sounds kind of weird, but this is what, what we're referring to when we say pink noise, brown noise, white noise. 